no fear. I'm standing right here, eyes peer with my mind clear. Never look rare, only up. Jones to the body, and it is all over! Hey guys, welcome to All Things MMA. In today's video, we'll be going over UFC light heavyweight champion John Jones' top 5 fights in the UFC. For this list, we'll be looking specifically at title matches and some of the fights that brought out the best in John Jones. Although Jones has ran through the majority of his competition, this list will mainly be focusing on some of his tougher challenges as champion, and the fights where he had to face adversity in order to win. After all, the most impressive victories are always won through adversity. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and without further ado, let's get right into John Jones' top 5 fights. Now, Jones looked promising early on in his MMA career dominating his opponents in impressive fashion and quickly becoming a number one contender for the light heavyweight title. As luck would have it, Rashad Evans, who was next in line to face then-champion Mauricio Hua, sustained a knee injury in training, which left the UFC to offer young up-and-comer John Jones a shot at the title. An ecstatic John Jones took the opportunity, with many eager to see how Jones would fare against a top-level opponent. Jones rose to the occasion and completely outclassed Hua. A vicious body shot followed by a knee from Jones finished Hua in the third round with John Jones becoming the youngest champion in UFC history, ushering in a new era. Jones to the body, and it is all over! It's often said that styles make fights, and there are many who believe light heavyweight Lyoto Machida, with his unorthodox karate background, had the perfect style to defeat John Jones. Machida's ability to quickly move in and out of an exchange, along with his brilliant timing and counter-striking, posed a unique threat to John Jones' stand-up game. The first round looked to be gaining momentum for Machida, as Machida ended up catching Jones with some solid shots. Although Machida never had Jones in serious danger, he looked to be controlling the majority of round one, with Jones appearing to be unable to take initiative. Jones came into round two more confident, and in an exchange during the final minute of round two, Jones rocked Machida with a left hook, and proceeded to lock in a standing guillotine choke on Machida. Machida went completely unconscious, flopping to the canvas as Jones walked away with another victory under his belt. John's got his head. Second. He's got a choke. Yeah. He made yeah. it. Used his full set of skills. And look at that. He caught him. Up until this fight, John Jones had never faced any serious adversity in the cage. His entire career had been spent making world class competition look like amateurs. So it's no surprise John Jones came into the fight with Vitor as a massive favorite. Vitor Belfort came into the fight as a noticeably smaller fighter, mainly due to him moving up a weight class to take on Jones with his normal weight class being down at 185 pounds. In one of the scariest and most surprising moments of John Jones' career, Vitor managed to lock in a tight armbar in the first round, causing John Jones to panic. Jones could be seen frantically trying to shake Vitor off of his arm, doing everything in his power to survive the submission. Despite injuring his arm in the process, Jones managed to finally escape and continue to dominate the remainder of the fight, finishing Vitor in fourth round by submission. It was the closest John Jones had ever come to being finished in his career. Oh, he's gonna get smushed. This is it. Oh, man. Now he's going for a Kimura. It is all over! This was the first fight where John Jones saw himself truly tested and had to dig deep in order to pull out a victory. Alexander Gustafson came into the fight as a young, hungry, talented contender, looking to dethrone Jones, who was riding a five fight title defense streak. Despite John Jones being a sizable favorite to win the match, the fight itself proved otherwise. In a close back and forth bout, Alexander Gustafson shocked the world, giving John Jones the fight of his life, and even managed to be the first opponent to take John Jones down. The match ended up going the full distance, leaving both men bruised and battered. In a razor close fight, John Jones managed a narrowly secure decision win over Gustafson. And This fight is considered by many to be the greatest light heavyweight title match of all time. John Jones, no matter where you go, boy, I'm coming. John Jones vs. Daniel Cormier can easily be considered one of the biggest grudge matches in MMA, with animosity still lingering between the two to this day. The bad blood was on another level, as both men traded verbal as well as physical blows at one another during the buildup. <laughs> Both John Jones and Daniel Cormier came into the fight undefeated, with Daniel Cormier being the toughest caliber of fighter that Jones had faced thus far in his career. Each of them gave solid performances, and for five rounds they went toe-to-toe -to -toe in a back-and-forth stand-up exchange. 
It was an intense and competitive fight, with Jon Jones earning the win, handing Daniel Cormier his first and only loss in MMA. This fight solidified Jones as one of the greatest fighters of all time. Now, obviously there are several other fights that could have been included on this list, so if you guys think I missed anything, just let me know down in the comments below. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving a like and subscribing. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a doubt, do you like me now? Am I good enough now? Should I get more loud? Do you hear the fucking sound? Oh no, I'm losing my shit again, having to fit again. Man, I'm forgetting when I used to have some friends, I used to play pretend.